Hi, this is Dan from Guitar From The Heart. In my last video, I spoke about the use of vibrato to express yourself better on a guitar. Today, I want to talk about string bending and how you can use that technique to better express yourself on a guitar. Now, I don't know about you, but when I play the guitar, I want what's in my heart to come out through my instrument when I play. I want to be able to express myself when I play. Now, I, as I said in my last video, I love vibrato because it helps me to, to, to express myself better when I play. Uh, 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 it's my friend, you know? Now, in this video, I want to basically do the same thing, uh, uh, but with bending. So first, I'm going to show a little bit of the technical side of string bending and what you ought to be doing when you're playing physically, okay? So uh, if I'm on the B string, what you basically want to do is, is when you first start practicing bending, start with your ring finger. So let's, let's go over here to the, to the fifth fret. Start with your ring finger, and then you're going to put uh, your middle finger on the fourth fret and your index finger on the third fret here. And what you're going to do is you're going to strike the string and then you're going to rotate your wrist while holding that note down and getting support from these two notes. You're going to kind of rotate your wrist kind of like if you're you know, grabbing a, a doorknob and turning it. Basically the motion is from your elbow. If you visualize a, a straight line from your elbow to your wrist, you want to be rotating on that axis like so. The only thing is you're holding your fingers down, right, like that on the on the uh, frets, and you're you're holding the the note firm. You have your thumb wrapped over the top of the neck, and you're gonna do that kind of rotating, that rotating motion with your forearm. Let me see if you can see it a little better here. So that's basically the motion I'm doing while I'm while I'm playing. Okay, uh, if you're on the E string, the B string, or the G string, you want to bend up. And if you're in the D string, rule of thumb, A string or E string, the the fatter strings, you want to bend down. So when you're bending up. You're, you're holding a note like this and you're rotating your arm like this in this motion. You feel like you're coming underneath the string and bending it up. When you're coming, uh, when you're going on, on these strings, the D, the A, and the E, you're gonna do this motion. So you're pulling down in this direction. Okay, so bend up like this, bend down like this. All right, so bend up, rotating this way, bending bend down, Rotating that way. Now you can use your fingers slightly to help the motion, but you don't really want to do it with your fingers. You want to do it mostly from your elbow. Try not to bend your wrist much either. You can also use your wrist to help and to do some fine tuning in your bending, but you want it to be mostly from your elbow. Okay, uh, that's the technical side. Now, when you're playing, just like in my last video, you can use uh, bending to enhance your expression. So let's say if I'm playing this note, and then I'm going to this note. Instead of just playing, I can play this note and bend up to the next note. All right? So, uh, you can use that anywhere along the neck. You can do, you can bend uh, t uh, two frets up, or you can bend the string less, like a half step. Okay. You can even bend uh, three notes, so from like here to here. Okay, which I don't do too often, but um, some moments call for that. 
All right, so uh, so that's one way you can string bend using your ring finger. Now sometimes if you're doing certain patterns, like say uh, uh, like a four two one pattern, and you want to play like the four and then a two one and then bend up to the four, say. I'm using only two fingers, so I'm using this one finger for support here, but it's basically the same rotating motion, okay? The two fingers, and you can even do it with one. This one takes a little bit more development of your fingers, but uh, like say here, I want to do a bend, a, uh, a bend with my ring finger, and then I can do a bend to this note here, so now I'm playing with my ring finger with my index finger. And from that angle, you can kind of see a little better uh, uh, the rotation motion on my arm. Again, behind, I mean, when somebody's actually playing the guitar and they're doing bends, it doesn't, you can't really see this motion going on. But when you're playing yourself, I mean, that's what you're feeling, more or less. And you want to get, it's it's a feel thing, you know. You're not going to, uh, uh, if you're just starting this, it's a it's a new skill. It takes time to develop. I mean, it, it probably took me at least two or three months to really uh, uh, get the feel in my fingers for this the right way how I have it now. But um, just 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 follow this as a rule of thumb. You want to use your elbow, your forearm muscles to strengthen it, and you just want to firmly press with your fingers. You don't want to try to do it with your fingers. You don't want to do it with your wrist. You don't want a lot of bending going on in your wrist because you can, uh, you can, you know, injure yourself that way. You want to mostly keep your wrist straight. Slight bending is okay, but um, but most of that power is coming from your forearm. <laughs> Now, again, uh, uh, when we play, we want to play from our heart. We want to play with expression. We want to play with passion. We want to, uh, uh, we want to get across what we have inside of our hearts. Okay, and uh, string bending is a great way to do that. Vibrato is a great way to do that. One thing I want to show before I end the video is this: you can combine the two. So, like I'm bending like this. When I get to the top here, I can actually vibrate. I can hold the pitch here and vibrate. Okay, so you can combine the two. And that uh, uh, combining vibrato and bending uh, in your playing really does uh, really kind of spice things up and help you to, to get across more than if you were just playing, plucking regular notes. So I love these string bending techniques. Uh, uh, apply them, mix them into your playing, uh, make sure you get the technique down, make sure uh, uh, you're doing it and nothing hurts. If you start to do it and your fingers get tired or your wrist gets tired, your forearm gets tired, rest a little while, let your body recover. Uh, it's like anything else, like anything physical. Uh, you wouldn't try to, to run a marathon overnight. You need to slowly build up your, your stamina and your muscles in your fingers and stuff need to build up the stamina too in your hand and your wrist and your forearm so just give it time uh, uh, keep practicing and make sure it feels good when you're doing it I mean you kind of know you kind of know you're doing it right when it feels good under your fingers okay so uh, uh, apply that to your to your playing and and it should help you to improve things